Okay, guys. So today we are going to be testing this uh, ammeter. As you can see, it is an old ammeter. There you go, 1994. Uh, 1994? 1944, even. So, yep, pretty old. That's like a wartime one. As you can see, it's got the crow's foot symbol there. So, it's a uh, ex military also, which is pretty cool. And via that, we will be testing this Variac here. It's a Zenith. 100 hour in, 240 volts in, 0 to 270 volts out at 8 amps or 2.1 kVA, which is pretty cool. So we'll be testing that on a 2 kilowatt, uh, I guess you call it a greenhouse heater. So yeah, that's 2000 watts. That's good for 8 amps. 2000 watts at 230 volts is about 8 amps thereabouts. So Pretty ideal since it's also a resistive load being a heater. It's got a fan in there as well, but that's not too much of a problem. So yeah, we'll be testing this Variac. Uh, we'll have the output volts here. We'll have the input current here. And also we've got the input current in um, uh, digital as well. So you can verify if this ammeter, which was sent by John, by Voltage Projects, is actually accurate, you know, for an old one. <laughs> Got a good feeling about it, so we'll see. So we'll power up, turn it on, see if we get an inrush. Not quite. Try again, see if we get an inrush. Come on, three, two, one. Hey, look at that, proper inrush. So, in order to, because inrush currents usually pop the fuses and these uh, meters, I've uh, just put that like that for now. So that overrides that meter. So now we can take this off here and that'll add that meter into the circuit. Now this is actually measuring now. It's not shorted out as it was before. See the two leads, the crocodile there and the crocodile there. Now these two are in series. So they should actually be measuring the uh, the current into the, the variac there, which is pretty cool. So we'll uh, crank the volts up, see what we get. Let's take it to, where's our first notch? Let's take it to an amp then. Let's go up. 0.1. And that's about that amp there. So as you can see, one, two, three. That's practically exactly on an amp. Uh, about, say about 80 volts I reckon. At the moment, that's doing not very much. It's not even spinning. So let's take it up to let's take it up to three amps. Look at that three point one. Let's drop that a tiny bit. Okay, pretty close. And now we're at about one hundred and forty. Is that thereabouts? One hundred and forty. Oh, the fan's spinning, and there's a wee little bit of heat coming out of that. So just over 3 amps, so 3 amps on the fluke is just over 3 amps there on the uh, the big old 1944 ammeter. You can see it's pretty massive this thing compared to your hand. I don't really do hand spans, I've got a hand span of about 230, 240 about, so you get an idea of how big that is. That's in millimeters by the way, 240 millimeter hand span. So yeah, you're looking at about 220, 230 millimeter diameter on that. Great huge massive thing. <laughs> right, so we'll turn it up to the next notch which is going to be six. Let's take the six. And ooh, a bit more. There we go. That's six there. Eh? As you can hear it's a little bit blowy outside. <laughs> a bit gusty. So yeah, that's just over over six x So it probably just means I need to just tweak that little that little screw there just to bring it down ever so slightly. So yeah, six amps, about two hundred volts, and this is starting to get on its way now. It's starting to warm up a bit. It's nice and warm. That is a little bit cold in the shed today. No, that's not too bad. There you go. It's about thirteen point five. So yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Quite impressed with the accuracy of this thing. I'm going to have to give it a tweak for next time. 
and we'll try the next notch, which is actually going to be 8 amps, because that's what this is rated for, so we'll take it to 8 amps. 7, 8, you hear that fan increasing in speed. 8 to 8, yeah, right, that's cool, so that's just over 8 amps there, depending on, on what angle you look at it. That's it, because if you want to, you could bring it up to 9 amps, when really, nothing's changed. We're just looking at a very slightly different angle because it is spaced off from the the, uh, the back plate, as you can see there, by the shadow. So if you look straight at it, it's about you know eight point what is that eight eight and a quarter, eight point two five. Just floating about, you can see it's moving ever, ever so slightly. So yeah, quite impressed with this. Running at about what is that two thirty five volts, two thirty five. And this is going full power now. Lovely. So yeah, a amps on the a amp Zenith, running real smooth, real cool. This just needs a bit of cleaning up, really, to make it look nice. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the B heading off to Seb in Germany, not too long from now. So yeah, so Dirk, you will be receiving this at some point soon. In a nice big wooden box safely shipped over to you and you can have some fun, some fun with that you know two kilowatts two kilowatts of fun quite a lot of fun so quite impressed very impressed by that that's that's actually it didn't surprise me too much because you know british manufacturing by that sort of date you can pretty much guarantee it's going to be spot on you know that's not going to drift too much, and if it was, it would be something simple like the pin isn't as like catching on the glass or something like that, which is very common for the usual things. So yeah, pretty cool. I like that. I like it a lot. So we'll take it back down. A helicopter landing. Cool. There you go, tools desaturating and looking cool. Excellent. So, yeah, very cool. And it looks like the 1944 Amita is a winner. Excellent. Cheers, guys, and hope you all enjoyed. And uh, see you all again. Cheers.